No! No! Uh, what? Why? Why? Why did they show that? Generic control in the deck gives me are back with some more DB Simber. Today we are starting the last DB Simber I believe that they are doing with the top 12 sagas of Dragon Ball. And this video is like hour and 32 minutes long so i imagine there's gonna be more moments like kieran's moment with uh super saiyan 4 from the transformation you want to check out my reaction to the top three transformations of dragon ball i'll leave that video right up there also link down below description also be playing my channel with all my other db simmer uh reactions going to chronological order i actually just watched thor versus vegeta's death battle which is really really good that video should have came out yesterday patrons got it a day early uh shout out to patrons they get the videos a day early and allow me to not have a paywall on the channel i'm um, having to record these videos way in advance because i actually went to dallas this past weekend i edited 10 videos last night which is just insane to think about but this video is actually quite long so we're doing three per and um i don't know how long the videos are going to be they might be like 20 minutes they might be 30 minutes they might be, some might even be 40 minutes honestly it would not surprise me but this is the last db summer that they are doing i'm looking forward to it shout out to everybody that's watched this video hope you're subscribed i read every comment leave some down below let's go ahead and jump on into the top 12 sagas of dragon ball yeah and i was watching the uh the thor and vegeta death battle i like we saw all this stuff and i'm just like i know a lot about dragon ball for dragon never ball, seeing dragon ball, ball. Dragon ball rocks. hey nick subscribe dragon to the channel and greatly DBGT. forever appreciated super and heroes and movies galore yeah TV nick can sing and so much more dragon ball dragon ball dragon ball rocks dragon ball fans to dragon ball stands and knowing then this probably took them like 30 minutes to write this song Soon they'll all be pissed. Yeah, soon they'll all be pissed. That, yeah. What the fuck? Hey, cut the music. Cut, cut the music. Lanny, where's our third person? Uh, I thought you were in charge of taking it? them. Uh, no, this is not a Scottocracy. Yeah, I'm gonna need a third person because I can't take your terrible portmanteaus. Takahata, maybe? Kieran, help! Hey! Hey, Kieran, it okay. The year again? It didn't change. Yep, it's db -cember. But it's not just any db -cember. It's the last one. It's the last db -cember. Yep. I mean, they ran out of things. They can only do so many of yeah. these. Yeah. After seven years of Dragon Ball-related countdowns, we feel like this yearly celebration has run its course. And we feel there's no better way to wrap up this tradition than by giving our top 12 Dragon Ball sagas. Oh, f*** yes. So that obviously means the list will include Dragon Ball, Z, GT, and Super, right? Three of those, yeah. Wait, which oh, one's not? I can't believe Super didn't make the list. Or GC didn't oh, make it. Okay, no, yeah, I get it. Well, uh, you guys have fun with that because I'm gonna go visit my family in Florida for the holidays. Very oh, nice. Workers. Kieran out. Wait, he chose GT over us. He chose Florida it's... over us. Well, that's fine. We've Florida's got other options. Florida's kind of cool. Right. Uh, hey, Grant. What are you doing? Oh, hey, Lanny. Hey, Kaiser. Oh. I was just finishing you? up my 100% run of the new Tales game. Well, stop with that anime bullshit, because we need to talk about anime bullshit. It's December time, but Kira decided a Dragon Ball GTFO. So, call <laughs> upon your aid GTFO. once more. Hmm. Hey, hmm. Lanny. Yeah? Remember when you jokingly blamed episode 60 being delayed on me? Yeah? And how I was told, Wait, what? you, Grant, by the fan base for nearly a year? Oh. Yeah. 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 And unlike you nerds, I've had my fill of anime bullshit with all those My Hero Is he reviews. leaving too? Good luck with the countdown, though. Well, shit. No Grant. No Kieran. That you means the only one left Give me Curtis. Is... Sorry, can't do it. Can no! Be... no! I'm too busy. <laughs> Ever since I became a VTuber, my schedule's been packed. I watch his stream sometimes. Yeah, they can be impenetrable walls of convoluted text. They're nuanced and descriptive. You write like anime sounds. Also, Takahata yeah, is like guys, uh, I can't help sober you. for so long, but which is want, oh, great. I can be in the intro video. F <sighs> well, I guess it could just be the two of us. Nick, we need a third person so we don't get stuck in a dragmire. And that's a uh, what? Quagmire, but specifically related to Dragon Ball discussion. Guys, oh. that's just. It's totally not funny, dude. Wait a second. Totally what? not funny. Totally not. Totally not, Mark. <laughs> I've got it. A better understanding. The dude that had his like no, channel a like third person for this year's DB Sember. Like special guest star. Destroyed into oblivion by Toby. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's not. Will he like, do it? Well, there's only one to find out. Hey, totally not, Mark. 
Oh, hey, um, uh, how you guys? Hi. Uh, I've never watched his videos shouting? before, but I heard, um, Don't. Moist Critical. Mark, we need you to be our third for this year's DB Sember. It's the finale, and we're going over our top 12 Dragon Ball sagas. Well, Will you do it? Kind of perfect. I actually only I think recently you'll do it. reread the first several arcs of Dragon Ball and taken off YouTube. Piccolo Jr. and reviewed them over on my yep. channel, Totally Not Mark. And besides being the perfect setup for a plug, they got like 1,500 claims in Sweet. one day. Good to have you on board, bro. But before we start the final countdown, it we'll is the final countdown. Some ground rules. One, a saga in this regard means a collection of smaller arcs that tell a larger story. I.e., okay. Namek arc, Ginyu arc, and Freezer arc will be combined okay. into the Namek saga. Same with the Android arc and the Cell okay. arc, making the Android saga. And the half a dozen mini arcs that you see, I make of the Boo saga would Two, struggle to like figure out what a saga is exactly, like from Dragon Ball. Story, including and people get mad at me if I like say something in the saga and it's not. Narrative structure, its themes, and consistency in using those themes, its effective use of drama, and so on. We'll and other stuff. Provide an effective breakdown on how these sagas work and don't work in our opinion. And three, okay. we won't be including heroes, the super manga, or any of the movies or specials. So no movies? Okay, Dragon I guess that makes sense. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and the super anime. Uh, about GT. Ooh, you no. didn't. All right, folks, now that we have the rules out of the way, get uh, what are you going to leave to? Grab some balls, because it's time to get this countdown started. Kieran's got to be pissed. Yeah, Probably. Funny that. He's in Florida, though. Well, all right. You know, maybe last year should have been the last DB December. Is it too late to Future back out now? Trump we saga? had this discussion. It went up to a vote. Now, I know this is going to be a point of controversy. When it comes to the available sagas in the Dragon Ball canon, one of them had to make How many sagas are this list. There was a long, exhausting, dare I say bloody conversation about whether or not it should be a saga from GT or Goku Black. I suggested the Shadow Dragon saga from GT for being such a brilliant concept if done poorly oh but there were like the seven different the dragon ending whatever. in all of dragon ball and i was leaning a little more towards the baby saga for being the only saga in gt that didn't make me want to pull an eternal sunshine of the spotless mind to forget the agony but i can't <laughs> lie gt not making this list is a bittersweet victory emphasis on the victory bitter. The ending of the Goku Black Saga is a mind-bogglingly depressing, gallingly nihilistic finale to an otherwise roller coaster of a story. While there are many, many hiccups leading into the last two episodes, I don't know like it much really of anything felt about like it. They were pulling out all the stops to give us a satisfactory, bombastic finish, only for them to follow oh, up that screen. amazing climax with rocks drop, everyone dies on the entire universe. Oh, proving their actions were essentially all for naught, dooming an entire timeline to a permanent state of null. And the light at the end of the tunnel for Trunks and Mai is immensely awkward, essentially having to live alongside their alternate versions of themselves in another timeline. And of course, the saga oh, has a ton okay. of other issues. Goku forgetting both the Senzu and the Talisman for the Mafaba, them having to return to the future not twice but three whole times, <laughs> Trunks learning the Mafaba via Piccolo's YouTube tutorial video. It's a Piccolo has a YouTube saga channel? saga that admittedly dropped the ball in a big way, and not just once. So why? Kaiser, why? Because, damn it, when it first started airing, I love it shocked the fandom. When it was revealed that our main antagonist was going to be an evil version of Goku, folks thought it was going to be the biggest shark jump of the Dra franchise. What? But the first episode of the saga proper is There's one of a the shark most in Dragon Ball? in all of Dragon Ball. Scott's got a point about that first episode. The darker, apocalyptic tone matched up with some amazing art direction and stellar animation, supported by some of the best music in Super at that point, makes Black's introduction something special. In terms of setting up an intimidating villain, this saga is hard to uh, beat, and the following episode sets okay. up a huge arc-long mystery. This is way outside of anything I'm familiar with. Old characters and concepts, like the second time machine Cell used, the Mababa, and the concept of gods in the Kaioshin. And while I feel they mishandled the descent into madness on the Zamasu. behalf of Zamasu, that character was a fresh, new archetype for the series, with a twisted moral complexity that was missing with from his, previous films. Yeah. It is also shocking that Goku Black as a character is largely Rose. effective. You'd think evil Goku would be boring and cliche, but it's undeniable that the performance from Masako Nozawa actually enhances this character with her soft, uh -oh. cold, calculated speech. 
Honestly, by the virtue of being sub only for so that's long, the voice Super actor introduced Nozawa to a huge amount of dub only fans who had undervalued her performance for years. And the art direction wow. makes a point to emphasize Black's twisted nature, all the way down to his black and red gi. Those toothy grins, narrow it's always eyes, crazy when, like, you, pompous poses. Like, I, you find out a character is like voiced by somebody the other gender. From a bad concept which is actually well kind of common. To a sincerely memorable villain with a lot of gravity. Too bad the story decides to fuse him into a more boring version of both of them. Though Merge Zamas does have some brilliant moments visually, his character effectively loses everything that made him interesting, complex, and intimidating, turning him into just another pompous villain for Goku and the gang to put down. But guys, no. many of the fights okay. in this saga are awesome. Some of the best saga got in Dragon Ball up until that point happened in this saga. And this is seen all the way up until the climax, where Trunks whips out his uh, plot sword and vertically plot sword? merged Zamasu. Uh, Addison for that so one. so much hype, I remember cheering with friends while watching it. Really? And then what, That's Kaiser? Cool. You know what, Lanny. We all do. Are we also going Omni to ignore King? how it introduces a second Omni King? Because one wasn't enough? A second. Also the weird love triangle stuff with my trunks and... Trunks? Uh, listen, Wait, what? I know it's got its trunks? low points. Or just the, the ties same name. are astronomical. For every moment where we groaned and sighed, there was another we cheered and lost our collective shit over. It's a mixed bag, no doubt about it. But I truly think it earns its spot at number 12 by introducing a complex antagonist, tackling some dark existential themes, oh, yeah. making Goku black and I don't, I don't like that. I don't like what that was. Providing some of the best action Dragon Ball has seen up until that point. Fair enough. Still think the Shadow Dragons were way cooler. The trunks in my stuff was a little weird though, right? A little? A little? There was multiple and trunks. Speaking of my pilaf uh, saga, guys, what's with all the people holding pitchforks and burning torches? Oh, that's just the OG Dragon Ball fans furious that pilaf made it this low on the countdown. Oh. Uh, oh. This cannot be a surprise. Okay, Kaiser, go ahead. Be that fan. I assure you, I don't understand the connotation. <clears throat> that the, the pilaf saga. Where's the pitchfork? For the Dragon Ball saga is a fucking gem, and it's the closest thing Dragon Ball has to a flawless arc on this entire list. Yeah, and you have like a dog or whatever, yeah. of Dr. Slump, this is where it all began. 35 million began, copies. With a story full of Jeez. comedy, perverted antics, mystical adventure, and more comedy. Featuring a classic colorful cast of characters, each chapter and episode is packed with charm and laughter. With each new character that we meet, and that was from the original Dragon Ball series. That was overcomes. before the We're further enchanted obviously. and engrossed into this world until the wild oh, Master Carrot ties everything together with the funniest ending in the franchise. There's really what, a charm it in simplicity, isn't there? Spanning only 23 chapters of the manga and 13 episodes of the anime, this is a comparable only 13 light episodes? all things considered, but it delivers wow. heaps of jokes, fan watch that like in a, a day. Oh, she was story. Naked. The ending with the reveal of Goku's backstory involving Grandpa Gohan is still an emotional gut punch. Obviously, while this Grandpa saga Gohan, is near yeah. the bottom, it's certainly not because it does anything more wrong than the sagas above it. In fact, I'd be inclined to agree, this saga is generally harmless. But in that simplicity, it also doesn't quite reach the same highs as the other sagas aspire to. That just isn't what Toriyama was pursuing. He wanted something <laughs> more in the vein of Dr. Slump meets Journey to the West, and by God, he nailed it! But the lack oh, of ambition Journey in the, the West, story yeah. also keeps it lower on this list. Shout out to the Bilov gang for somehow managing to maintain a presence in the series. There's that shark. The Probably super. a different shark, but. Even if the road there was full of questionable methods and even more questionable ships. It's also worth noting that the length of this saga doesn't do it many favors. It's one of the shortest on this list without any prior setup, meaning that a lot of its time is spent establishing characters, concepts, locations, etc. But it's still number 11. It's also arguably to its best. I made the list. Keeping it short, briskly paced, with plenty of jokes per minute. Who killed the dinosaur? Is low on our list, but this is the place where it all started, where the concept of Dragon Balls were introduced, where Bulma met Goku oh, really? and shot him in the fucking head. Yeah. Where a transforming pig stole child Because she's packing heat for some Yancha reason. And Yamcha tried to mug them in the desert. Where a goblin boy, accompanied by an adult woman and a talking dog, tried to conquer the world, only to be thwarted by a twelve-year-old hick. Where Goku would make a fateful lunch date with a silly lovesick girl. Who would G -G. one day become his wife when, when he, he thought marriage was a food which kids would make a pastime mimicking in their backyards for decades to come where the magic began almost 30 I mean years I wasn't ago, a kid that's still I was an adult when I started doing the coming I mean, to this day sure it's unambitious but it's also heartfelt endearing inspired 
This saga may not reflect what the series as a whole has to offer, but it's a perfectly paced, simple, uh, enchanting wh story of why? a little why? boy taking why did they show that? girl's panties before she flashes a lecherous man old enough to be her grandfather. And that's a story we can all relate and to. And Roshi's the massive Real pervert. Real glad Goku learned to tell the difference between boys and girls before he was old enough for that to become a much more serious issue. Now I'm imagining adult Goku that's... giving the old pat-pat to Vegeta when he first showed up. Or Beerus. That would you be bad. Oh my god, Beerus. Long enough to consider it. Ten. For sure. Alright, number ten. The last one we're doing for today. Credibility is overrated. As if people don't tune into us for our credibility, they tune into us for our honesty. And honestly, I'm surprised that this made Universal it Survival off, considering that this saga? saga may have some of the lowest lows in all of Dragon Ball Super. I mean, was well, this like the tournament, with the tournament of power or whatever? Saga. It's astounding that the series managed to recover from what should have been, for all intents and purposes, a mortal wound. If I may, the universe survival saga, often referred to as the Tournament of Power saga, okay, yeah. honestly contains a couple of my favorite I knew this was gonna from be on Dragon there. Ball in it. From the very beginning, we're treated to one of the best opening themes Dragon Ball has to offer. Following up the I've worst opening it. theme song in Dragon Ball, Don't Shoot the Worst. Me, which honestly got me back into the gym. It's such a banger. And then there's the Yeah, Nick works out a lot. Arc, Post on the Discord all the time. In this entry. Almost everyone's recruitment came with a moment from them to not only show off their skills, but also a character moment with Goku, aided by a couple of honestly amazing fights. And don't even get me started on Frieza. While the fans' Golden initial Frieza. response to the replacement of Boo was rightfully exasperated and annoyed, Frieza subbing in may have been one of the best choices they could have made, both for the tournament and for the character. One of Frieza's most important attributes is his sadism. Okay. He's not just ruthless, he takes pleasure in the act of torturing and killing his opponents. And though we get to see a Can little bit of that in the Resurrection F arc, there's something about the way he's depicted here that sells his demented attitude Sell? so much more. His stunning transformation into Golden Frieza, his dismantling of the Universe 4 Assassins, and the subsequent match afterwards all are all amazing and perfectly set up the dynamic between Frieza that and Universe so 7 good. for the Tournament of Power. I remember the backlash over Boo being benched. The base went ballistic. But now, well, we can't imagine a T.O.P. without Frieza. I also want to add, when Goku is shadow sparring on Udenai Baba's ring, he's actually recreating his fight, move for move, against uh, back during the Red Ribbon Army saga, which, as far as Easter that's a go, great callback. Is fucking phenomenal. And then yeah. the actual tournament is full of hype moments. While it that's takes a fine end. bit for the fights to really warm up, the first time we see Goku tap into Ultra Instinct will for ever stick in which the Ultra Instinct was on fan, the top transformations list. You also have huge, heartfelt callbacks and tributes to Dragon Ball throughout. One of the best finishing moves in the franchise against Kefla, and one of the biggest climactic battles in all of anime with Frieza, Seventeen, and Goku versus Jiren. The Tournament of Power yeah. is one giant love letter to all of Dragon Ball. I kind of just want to watch so the Tournament of Power fights. I kind of just want to. Came before it, all the while bombarding us with a cavalcade of battles, new characters, and conflicts. Oh and God, what was that like? A both wannabe and Ginyu Squad newbies, all giving it their 100% to deliver a standout climactic finish to a heavily flawed series. <sighs> Y'all really gonna make me do it, huh? I have to be the heel, but. <laughs> What? Watching this season week to week was a trial, and not in the oh my god, I can't wait to see what happens next week, the suspense is killing me kind of way, but more the what the hell was that, that's how they took is our attention, and what do you mean it's only been 10 minutes in the tournament, it's been like 5 episodes, that's how they took out Piccolo, Jesus, well, the, the Frieza and Goku fight was like forever, sin. this boring pile of roided up area 51 paraphernalia is our main antagonist, sort of way. It was a slow area 51 for long time fans like myself. <laughs> and while a narratively relevant callback or reference can help elevate a scene, I have to put my foot down over them breaking out Vegeta's sacrifice against Boo, only for it's not actually cost him his life. The entire point of that what? moment was that he was using all of his energy and giving his life in order to win. Without that element, it's literally just the same I'll technique Piccolo used tournament. against Goku in the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai. No emotional weight, no sacrifice, just a cheap insipid ploy on the behalf of the writers that left me more pissed than pumped. Let's not forget more the use of Kachi Kachin, the hardest, most durable material in the universe as the, the material what? for the ring, only for it to immediately break shattered? and shatter like any other material, effectively making it pointless and actually underselling the character's abilities. 
And don't even get us started on the pacing. We no, should have known 48 location. minutes was a ludicrous wow. number, but 30 plus episodes? 34 episodes take place in one location over less than an hour? It's like they looked at Freeze's they didn't five minutes and said, hold my heat tap. And settings. this wouldn't be such a chore either if the environments felt varied or visually Bare, pleasing. Bare Marathon at, but like I said Ooh, before, yeah. the Tournament of Powers stage and environment is often intensely ugly. To the point where the change in color to the sky was initially welcomed oh. until you realize that the color actually got worse. And like Mark said before, some of the eliminations in that tournament were downright disappointing. Tension Man's bullshit sacrifice is made all that much worse by his two appearances in the recruitment arc being absolute character assassination. And, and Piccolo is taken out by a character that he should literally be the best equipped for. And beyond that, while I love the I Emperor Six Saiyans, was. their ascent in terms of power is so steep and unearned that it really makes you question why the hell Goku took as long as he did. In a story about the struggle to grow and improve, watching these three effortlessly Just, unlock huge, yeah, basically get Super Saiyan and transformations feels like a spin in the face of the story and its themes. Thus, they talked about that in the there transformation are plenty video. Of controversial writing choices throughout, between Blue Evolution, the time dilation regarding Goku's stamina recovery, a Questionable amount of focus on Ribrianne, one of the oh. worst Roshi scenes of all time. The no flying uh, being weekly, that's inappropriate. And if you're not a fan of the Omni King, well, good news. Why would you not be a fan of the Omni King? Now, and they will not shut the f up. And while those oh. good animation days were much more common in this saga, the bad animation days made already lackluster fights that much worse. Coupled with a mixed Oof. bag of new characters that ranged from legitimately compelling to downright forgettable to please God stop showing up. I sometimes Please find God, myself rooting for other up. universes to lose members faster just to get off this crazy carnival ride as fast as possible. And then there's Kill slash Broly. Don't get me started. And what about Jiren? <laughs> what, about what is totally Jiren? not Mark's Which accent? I can only imagine is exactly what the writer said. Okay, uh, okay. Jiren. I hear what you're Thank saying. You, I value your input. I processed your opinions. And I mean, I agree. None of what you guys said is wrong. But I posit this. Though it may be true that there are issues all throughout this saga, isn't it amazing that they all still managed to accomplish so many show-stopping moments throughout? We never even talked like... about just how much of a boss Android 17 gets to be, the emotional highlight of Master true. Roshi nearly giving his life, the descent of Top into Godhood, all the crazy variety of fighting styles. Hell, Kaiser, you madman! You even argued for Android 18 versus Rebrien to be in the top fights list. Well done. Really? Climax is fire. And Mark, I know the themes of trust that played heavily into the finale. Were oh yeah, and them all working together and Freeze, I hate it. It is definitely the highlight of the story, little as there was. The Tournament of Power may be the farthest you could get from a perfect saga, but its introduction of Ultra Instinct, themes of trust, spectacular battles, insanely good music, and some of the best climaxes in the franchise absolutely earned it a high spot in my personal top five. Well, hey, I'm here to review, not yuck people's yums. So and I'm also the fight so was you, so man. good, so I imagine that. I can that. totally understand your argument. And I yours. Oh, look at you. Acting all civil for the people at home. Nah, if you really want to set them off, start a conversation about Nozawa as Goku. You mean about how she's a what? phenomenal actress who earned the role and y'all need to back the fuck? No. He seems a little upset. But we'll start with number 9, 8, and 7. That'll be next week. I hope that you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Patience get the videos a day early. I figured the tournament power would be in her somewhere. I'm really terrible about, like, you know figure out what technically is a saga and what's technically an arc. I mean, an arc is just kind of like anything where, like, the main goal is such and such. But uh, finding a saga, like, kind of grouping them all up, I don't know. I'm not even going to try, try to, like, guess what all counts as a saga and whatnot because I'm going to say something and somebody's going to be like, how dare you say that? You never watched Dragon Ball. You can't say that this saga would be in there when it's clearly in this saga. And just, I'm not going to bother with that. I do read all your comments, so people do get really mad at me. And especially when people get mad at me when, like, I say things like, oh, yeah, I knew that about Dragon Ball. Like, you've never watched Dragon Ball. Don't act like you can't. Like, hmm, if only I've said that I've never seen Dragon Ball, only the abridged. But I do know a lot about Dragon Ball, which is kind of insane, as I just watched the Thor versus Vegeta fight, uh, or death battle, which is an awesome fight. Definitely go check that. The video went live yesterday. Uh, patrons got it yesterday as well. Or, no, two days ago. So... Oh, man. Great fight. I look forward to next week's. Uh, cool thing I totally not Mark in there. Uh, crazy that his channel got hit with, like, 1,500 uh, copyright takedown notice where, like, th th they're just abusing the YouTube system. My channel got deleted uh, two years ago, and I never found out why. I was never told why. Think it might have been 
um, copyright from Sony Music or something. I don't. I don't know. Um, but the, nothing's been confirmed. YouTube never responded to me. Never gave me any information. So just hope it doesn't happen again. I have a bunch of channels now to prevent that from happening again. I'm gonna be showing my best friend Dragon Ball Z Bridge here in a couple of weeks. Well, I think it's gonna be around July. But go ahead and subscribe now. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to the next one. But until then, take care and cue the music. We were playing.